What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw and color denim. Now first off I'm going to show you how to draw all the details of a denim shorts here and then I'm going to get into coloring and adding more details to denim. And later on I'll show you guys what colors I use to color denim pants because there's many colors I use to color anything denim. But first I'm going to show you how to draw it. But the first thing we're going to draw is the belt loop. So that's like this, almost the same shape as this point here. And then right there where the center line is, you, you're not going to, uh, I didn't draw it in here, I did that on purpose, but it's going to be right around here. Just look for where the belly button is, that's why I drew that there, I guess. And now we're going to draw the fly. So that's going to be kind of surrounding the button, sort of like this. And now looking at the side, we're going to draw the rivets in here. And then I'm just going to draw the belt loops in place. I'll just put them here and there, but I don't want to make them too close to the button or the fastener, put it that way. And then for the jean shorts, I like to have sort of, uh, they're kind of being rolled up. So I try to make it look like that. Just have a little line that's the same shape as this one here. The same thing over here. And then a pocket. Just have two lines or you can make it one, it doesn't matter. And yeah, that's how you draw denim. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to color denim. There's lots of different colors that I use to color denim, and I'll show you at the end of the video. But for now, I'm just going to use like a very pale blue. I'm using B93. So I'm just going to use the chisel tip and get a very flat color in. The only things on the jeans that I'm not going to color are the button and these two like under wraps right here, if that made sense. Because those are like the uh, underneath the jeans, if you wear them inside out, it's kind of lighter. So we're going to use a lighter color for that. And see how it's looking very blue. So now that we got it all colored, we don't have to really worry about the marker streaks in it. We can leave it like that. Just to indicate that there is some texture within the jeans. But you can smoothen these strokes if you want, but you don't really have to. But um... Now for these uh, under parts of the jeans, I'm going to use B91 because it's a little lighter blue. Because if you wear, it, if you look in, if you look inside the jeans, if you or if you wear it like inside out, the inside parts of the jeans are kind of lighter. The way I'm drawing it, you're kind of seeing that these are the same color, but probably when this marker ink dries, you'll be able to see. Or perhaps I should use a darker color for here, but it doesn't really matter here. Okay, so now I'm going to grab some colored pencils and just go around some flat color. I'm using Prismacolor colored pencils. And I'm just going to go around the light with the light uh, pencil. Just uh, adding a layer of colored pencils so it would be easy to apply the other ones. And here's my mint tone. And honestly, when you're going with your mid tone, you can go around the entire thing, like I just did with the other pencil. Or any other pencil that you want to indicate that there is some texture. You can either do that or leave it like the marker strokes that I mentioned earlier. And by adding this colored pencil, it kind of makes the initial color of the jeans a little bit darker. 
and then I'm just gonna uh, go in with my darkest color and just add a little bit of shading. Before I end the video, I just want to show you guys the Copic colors that I use to color denim, and here they are. So I use the B90s a lot. B34 and B45 are sort of similar to B95, so any one of those three colors would work, but if B95 ran out of ink, then I have like a plan B or plan C. Uh, I use C7 and C9 for a, a dark gray or black. I don't want to necessarily use black to color in like black jeans, but C9 is sort of like a black or C10 either one but I don't want to go to like a pitch black um, and if I'm doing khakis I like to use E31 and E33 or E43 one of those colors would work but E33 is more of a brownish color so if I want to go to like a, a wheat brown then I can use that one and uh, YG95 I actually like to use that for like a camo or like an olive green color for jeans and that's pretty much it if I'm doing like a camouflage pattern for like jeans then I'll go with that but yeah these are the colors that I use for coloring jeans so if you did like my video and you found it useful give it a like and a comment subscribe if you have it and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload and I'll see you guys in my next video I